Brazil President Dilma Rousseff lost a decisive vote in the lower house of Congress on Sunday. It was an impeachment vote. She appeared almost certain she appears now almost certain to be forced from office in a move that would end 13 years of leftist worker party rule. The leader of the Workers' Party in the lower house conceded defeat with the vote standing at 314 votes in favor of to just 110 votes against sending Rousseff for trial in the Senate on charges of manipulating budget accounts. The death toll. Brazil is experiencing its worst political stalemate since the transition to democracy in 1985. In a landmark vote, Brazil's lower house of parliament on Sunday supported impeaching President Dilma Rousseff. Amassing the 344 required votes for a two-thirds majority during over five hours of voting, lawmakers in the Chamber of Deputies sent impeachment proceedings to the country's Senate. Now, the Senate is expected to vote in May on whether to open a trial. In case of taking up the impeachment by the Senate, Dilma Rousseff would be forced to step aside for up to 180 days while Vice President assumes the presidency. If the Senate then votes by a two-thirds majority for impeachment, Dilma Rousseff can be removed from office permanently. The Vice President would stay on until elections in 2018. She has, however, two opportunities to appeal during the whole process. The Brazilian president is charged with tampering with state funds to make the economy look better than it actually was ahead of a 2014 re-election. Dilma Rousseff has repeatedly denied the accusations. Meanwhile, outside Congress, where tens of thousands of people were watching giant TV screens, the split was echoed on a mass scale, with opposition supporters parting and Dilma Rousseff's loyalists in despair. Bureau Report, DD News.